Alright, so I'm back here once again, bro, and this time I'm here to give you guys a first reaction to this new Denzel Curry and Kenny Beach project entitled Unlocked 1.5. Alright, so pretty much what's going on with this project, it had a whole storyline going on with it, especially if you listen to, uh, you know what I'm saying, the first one, pretty much Denzel Curry and, and Kenny Beach, they went inside of this, uh, I don't know. They went. In, I want to say they went inside of like a computer program, but pretty much uh, they went on like an adventure inside of it. But at the same time, they birthed um, an evil Kenny Beach and an evil Denzel Curry, and pretty much this is their version of Unlocked. While the good Kenny Beats and the good Denzel Curry, they're actually still stuck inside of the computer program. So I'm gonna actually at some point I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna watch like. The videos and stuff too, because I'm pretty sure they gonna um, do like a little documentary thing, like how they did last time. So yeah, as far as what I'm expecting, um, production wise, I'm pretty sure the production on here probably gonna change some way. Like it's probably gonna have the same stuff going on. As far as like, cause this is the exact track list from the last project. It just got more features on it and stuff. Like he, he added some folks to it, so. Yeah, bro, let's get out here get into it, man. Without further ado, bro, Kenny Beach, Denzel Curry, Unlocked 1.5, bro, let's get into it. So the first song we got is So Incredible, the Robert Glasper version, featuring Shmino. I like this production. Crack Atlantis on my Nigga, I write checks. Might rewrite your life if the price, man. Nigga, I write checks. Might rewrite your life if the price set. One, two, one, two. Coming at the zoo. Yeah, I wasn't mad at this at all, bruh. Shmino sounded great on here. Denzel, like, I like, he sounded great over this production. So the next song we got on here is track seven, and it's the George and Mordro version is featuring Arlo Parks. Oh, okay. I thought the beat was gonna go somewhere. I don't know what this production doing, but I'm liking it though. It's cute with on the Barbie like a motherfucking cookout. I like the way she sounds on here. It's so much going on with this damn production. This is definitely different from the first version. Alright, so the next song we got on here is called Cosmic, and this is the Alchemist version, and it's featuring Joey Badass. Oh. This went, this is, I wasn't expecting this. Mm. Have not. Hey. 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 Come on, Joey. Bro, I love this production, man. The Alchemist really snapped on this shit, bro. All right, so the next song we got on here is called Take It Back, the Charlie Heat version. Bro, Denzel can rip over anything. Bubba Sparks. And Rosa Parks. Hey. Bro, I like what this production turned into, bro. The Charlie Heat version is fine. I don't know if I like it more than the original, but this, this is nice. So next song we got on here is called Pyro, and it's the single lead version, and it's featuring Kenny Mason. Okay, my bitch bad like battle rappers that make albums with no <laughs> Next to middle man, act 
activist. Everybody lean on me. Got the bags full of goodies like I'm CeeLo Green. Hey. Get rain with the clip for those that all oppose. I'm not mad at this version at all. Hey. All right, Kenny. Yeah, Kenny sounded good on here. I ain't mad at this version. So the next song we got on here is called Lay Up, and this is the Jay Versace version. Get the lead shower, grow the from for black power. Yeah, Jay Versace low key got off on this production. Like it low key sound like some junk. Um What's my boy name? Bodie James, a rap over. But yeah, I like the Jay Versace version of this song. So the next song we got on here is called Diet 1.5. Diet was one of my favorite songs off the original. And this version right here features Benny the Butcher. So let's go. All these racks in the ceiling got rappers back in their feelings. Mm. Treat the game like Trump voters did the Capitol building. And the 600 <laughs> back the only passion. You're way too tactical, nigga. All my albums is classical just to challenge you, nigga. Hey. My shit, you feel like a superhero. Mm. Every year they discuss me. Who else they gon' name but me? And gun weed, the ones who they call when they get rusty. Mm. He said quiet. Please go to church and please get on a diet. Hey. So the last and final song we got on here is called Take It Back, the God Mode 950 version. The damn track stuttering. I'm definitely not mad at this version of the song. Alright, so I'm feeling Unlocked 1.5. As uh, far as comparing it to the first one, I feel like this one kind of acts as its own thing simply because of the... Yeah, simply because of the whole production shift. As far as Denzel Curry on here, his verses didn't change. They pretty much just... Uh, change the production around him and then they kind of like threw features on the back end of it or or the beginning of it. What this did prove to me in a way is that um, Denzel Curry can pretty much rap over anything. Like I like how they structured these beats to pretty much go around like the shit that he was saying. For the most part production wise I really didn't have a problem with these. I really thought on Diet 1.5 I thought they was gonna like change the beat up or something but I ain't have a problem with that. Benny the Butcher sounded great on it. Um, yeah, shit, as far as the features and stuff on here, bro, the features did they thing for the most part. Bro, Shmino killed this junk. Like, I can't wait till he, um, finally dropped something at some point. Arlo Park sounded good on track seven, but then at some parts, her voice do kind of, uh, throw me off as far as, like, the way it sounds on this particular, like, production. Like, I feel like, I don't know, she'll sound good on, like, some other stuff or whatever, but on this here production right here, like, it's kind of a hit and miss type of thing, but the song as a whole, I do like it. Uh, Joey Badass and just the Alchemist, bro, bro the Alchemist production, bro, this production that the Alchemist did, like, it really did, like, to me, it stuck to the damn, like, the entire theme of the uh, album. Like, it sort of stuck to, like, a... I don't know, like, the Alchemist stuck to the theme of the album as far as, like, the way it sounded and stuff. Joey Badass, he wasn't bad on it, on here, too, but at the same time, I feel like Joey Badass verse was kind of, like, it was just quick. Like, he ain't really, he ain't really last that damn long. The Charlie Heat version of Take It Back caught me off guard. Like, he kind of had this boom Baptist thing going on with it, but at the same time, it sounded good as hell. The single leak version of Pyro was nice. Kenny Mason was dope on that. Uh, Jay Versace. Jay Versace caught me out guard with his rendition of Lay Up. Like I said, bro, that, like that production style, like it kind of reminded me of something that he would have did for uh, like, yeah, it reminded me of something that he would have did for like a Boldy James or something. I still haven't heard another project from Jay Versace, but from the most part, like all the production stuff that I didn't heard from Jay Versace has been the shit, and I like it. So yeah, overall, I'm feeling this version of Unlocked. As far as this version right here, 
I'm loving it for the most part. Don't have a problem with it, and I like what they did with these songs. As far as I'm expecting from Denzel Curry, I'm pretty sure that he's gonna drop some type of project. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he dropped something else with Kenny Beats again, honestly. As far as with Kenny Beats, I haven't checked. I don't think he's giving us like a new season of The Cave yet, but I'm pretty sure that that's coming pretty soon. It's gonna be nice to have that back. But uh, yeah. Hopefully we get something new, newer in the future or whatever, new music. I like the way Denzel Curry sounded with Jig. Um, so, yeah. Let me know how y'all feeling about this project in the comment section. Let me know if I was wrong about anything. Please feel free to correct me. Also, please like, subscribe, and comment, especially if you're feeling the content or whatever, bro. It'll be much appreciated. And, yeah, man, this is t Sign out once again, man. Thank y'all for watching this video. Peace.